What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JML Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get It, Let's Go. Teaching y'all how to beat zone coverage. Uh, a lot of people ask me how to beat cover four, how to beat cover two. I'm gonna just teach y'all not, I'm not gonna teach y'all money play. I'm gonna teach y'all how to actually beat it. Like, I'm not gonna be one of those people who just teach y'all, hey, did you just play to beat this? Because it's easy for them to do that, but what happens when your opponent, you know what I'm saying, they find more than one play, you know? So, this is why I'm here just to help y'all with this. So, uh, what are we gonna come on? We're just gonna come on quarters. I'm gonna just uh, show y'all how to beat these zones uh, with a concept called the flood concept. Now, if y'all don't know, a flood concept is a concept where you have a flat, a streak, and a corner. Now, I don't know. If no, I, I know a lot of y'all probably know this. Y'all like J Man. We already know that. Well, there's a lot of people who don't know that. Like I didn't. I mean, I knew about it because I played football, but uh, my like people like my brother didn't really know. Like he like, how does this zone keep getting open? Because my brother played basketball. I was like, bro, he flooding you. He just. And the reason why this works is when you have a purple up like a purple right here he's gonna play the corner so there's no one in a flat so it's really you making a read so if i was to do this i come here all right no one's in a flat i'm gonna throw it to the flat and that's exactly how you're gonna beat that so if they in purples or you plan someone that uh is not shading underneath recovering the flats that's gonna be your read this is called a flood concept this is exactly what it's called so then once they start doing that they're gonna start shading underneath y'all right so now, again, now you got your flat, medium, and you got your long route. That's what a flood concept is. You got a long route, you got a medium route, and you got a flat route. You can even create your own flood concept. And I'm going to show you all, this is why a bunch of money plays work. So now that they shade underneath, y'all, here's what you're going to do. He's shading underneath. Now you got this guy wide open. And this is exactly how most zones, this is exactly how zones is beat in a main way. So remember that, y'all. You got a long route, you got your medium route, then you got your short route. You just got to make a read from there. Uh, so when I say like the this type of stuff can be created like from different ways, and like, this is how people get unique with theirs, uh, they would do something like this. Uh, like say we had something like deep attack. Like this is where money plays are created. Like they shade underneath, right, to cover the flats. And you see this tight end on a post route. They would do something like this. Nah, what are you doing? A lot of money plays are like this. Uh, dang, that's a deep post bro. But it'll be it will look like this. Like, let me hike the ball. You wouldn't think this is a money play, but then at the end, when I throw that, this is exactly how money plays are created. And that's how you can beat zones. Because I had a short route, then that was my medium route. Your, your medium route don't always like your mid route does not always have to be on the same side of the ball. Or it don't always have to be a corner route. It could be an out route. It could be just a, a long vertical route coming across. Like y'all see, it's just he, this uh, corner right here takes a deep route. This person takes, if he takes this medium route, the tight end, like if he's guarding a purple and he's guarding deep, like where this guy is, I would have just threw it to the out route. But he took that away, so I was patient, and then no one's guarding a mid route, and that's why that got open. Now, there is things that can stop this, such as cover three Mabel. Uh, you got cover three Mabel. Like, where is it at? Like that. Boom. You got cover three Mabel. So now if you got cover three Mabel, you're like, dang, that's going to stop that, right? Yeah, that's what it's designed to do. It has a flat over there and it, oh, snap. Now it stopped. Now you don't know what to do. They end up getting a pick because you don't froze. Now, once they start running Mabel, you can, you don't have to just use the sideline to torch zones. You can, uh, you could beat zones in so many ways. Like if I was to do a deep this, or this is exactly what I would do against this. Like if someone running Mabel. Then I got the underneath drag wide open. You want to always kill them underneath. Because uh, the concept I created there was just a drive concept. You got your... I, I know I'm saying a lot of big words and shit. But like like once they start going something like Mabel on you. Now look. I got... It's the same thing with the zones inside too. I got a medium route and I got a short route. These guys chase a medium route. I throw it to the short route. And y'all see if this linebacker would have came down and played the drag. I would have just had Beasley wide open. And it's exactly how you flood zones. And then this is like what you call the, uh, what, what do they call that? I forgot what they fucking call that. I don't play offense. I don't play offensive side of the ball, y'all. In football, I don't, I don't play on the offensive side. But it's called like you, it's your clear out route. That's what it's called. You, this, Beasley is basically clearing out this zone just so Dez can get open. So y'all like, well, how can you use this with other plays? You don't just have to use like stuff like Z spot, Y sale. You can even use stuff like, ah, oh, what we got? Like, what's another popular formation people use to beat zone? Like, something like snugs. Like, even something like bench. Like, this is why bench is so successful. Bench switch. We'll go with that. 
And then this can be used against cover three, cover two, anything, y'all. But like a play like this, the only person that what they're reading is where the zone go. Like, so like right now he's playing a purple, boom, I got the out route, right? Because that purple played the medium route. So it's really, you really are really taking advantage, not of the deep blues, but you taking advantage of these curl to flat guys and these hook curl guys in the middle. Those are the person you are, people you are targeting. So like, let's say, oh my God, he keep running bench on me. Uh, okay, they come down and cover that. Boom, I just dot him up right there. It's really, that's how you wanna beat zone. You wanna, you wanna try to just, just play with the uh, slot corners. Like these people right here, don't worry about these deep people or whatever. You wanna worry about him, him or if there's linebackers and these two, all you want to do is play with them and you just want to, all you, all you want to do is fuck with them, bro. That's all. Like, I, I'm trying to think of some big word, but like, like for real, all you want to do is fuck with them, y'all. That's all you want to do. And once you start messing with them and they start doing different things with their people, like, then they might start getting smart doing something like this. Okay, he keeps doing that. Like a good player might, damn, what am I doing? He might do that, do that. But then he got that. But once you got him doing that, then this is why you can't just run one play. You always want to have more than one read on the field. So you can do something like this. Uh, you can even do something like, if I was trying to run bench to the left, I could bring this guy in or do that. It don't matter. Or I could like even just, there we go. I could motion him over there and be like, okay, I'm going to look at the bench concept on the left. But then if that's not there, okay, they took both of them away. Now he covered B. Now I got my person inside the middle of the field. All you want to do is make sure you have options at every part of the field to beat zone. That's all you want to do. Just make sure there's options. You want the flood concept and use clear out routes. That's the best way to beat zone in this game. You don't have to go deep. You don't have to go deep every play. Just know what coverages do what and know what you need to do to beat those coverages. But until then, it's your boy J Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get It. Let's